Good afternoon, students. Do you hear me? Yes, Doctor. Yes, sharing is clear. Yes, Doctor. Yes, today we will discuss the grammar translation method. Then after this, we will take next lecture. This is for a previous lecture, and the next lecture and after this, we will discuss the grammar or the direct. So this is the grammar translation method according to what? According to our uh, title. And after that, we will discuss the direct method. So let us start with this. So in each approach or method, we will discuss the history, the introduction, and the experience. It means how can we teach each approach and uh, principles and uh, techniques for each method or approach. We will follow this technique for each approach or each what, each method. So the grammar translation method is not in you. It has different what names. But it has been used by language teachers for many years. At one time, it was called what? The classical method. Since it was first used in what? And the teaching of what? Classical languages. Latin and Greek, earlier in the 20th century, this method was used for the purpose of forming students to read and appreciate foreign language literature. So it's used for literature. First time it was hoped helping so that through study of the grammar of the target language. Student should become more familiar with what? With the grammar of their native language and that this familiarity would help them speak and write their what? Native language. This is. So, finally, it was thought that foreign language learning would help students grow intellectually. It was recognized that student would properly never use the target language, but the mental exercise of learning, it would be beneficial anyway. So this is a history or introduction or a general meaning we can say for grammar translation method. Next, an experience. An experience, it means how can we teach this approach or method. As we enter the classroom and describe a way for teaching in the class. The class in the middle of reading what? We have class, we have board, we have passage on the board in their textbook. The passage is an excerpt entitled The Boys Ambition from Mark Twins, live on the Mississippi. Each student is called on to read a few lines from the passage. After he has finished reading, he has asked to translate what? The few lines he had just read into Spanish. So this is in the previous century, but now we deal with the English. So this is the Spanish as example for the uh, lesson, but we deal with the English language. But this is a way of teaching. And we will, so we have class, we have students, we have teacher and board and passage and the teacher asks the student to read then translate so we will see that in details where and this is like this and give them exercise this is the board and we will see that what in thinking about what experience we have observations and principles and observations these are what summary of what 
of the experience. So we'll see each observation with its principle. So an observation, it is a summary of what of the experience. The class is reading an excerpt from Mark Twain's life on the Mississippi. Why? Or what's the principle? This reading, the title, a fundamental purpose of learning language is to be able to read literature written in. This is the first one. Two students translate the passage from English into Spanish. Here we have from English to Arabic, but the Spanish as example for the lesson. But we deal with the English language and the Arabic language sometimes. An important goal is for, and you know, we deal the Arabic just for sometimes for explanation or comparison. An important goal, and we, we, we don't need to use all the time, or we can uh, also, uh, we, we sometimes we don't need to use it, or maybe all the time. An important goal is for students is to be able to translate each language into whatever. Yeah, like uh, translate from English to Arabic, Arabic to English. This is a goal or a principle. Three, the teacher asks the students in their native language if they have what? Any question. A student asks one and is answer. The teacher asks the student in their native language if they have any question. What's the principle? The ability to communicate in the target language is not a goal of language what instruction. Four students write out the answers to reading comprehension questions. Why? Because the primary skills to be developed are reading and what and writing. Number five, the teacher decides whether an answer is correct or not. The principal, the teacher, is the authority in the classroom. Number six, students trans translate a new word from English into Spanish or from English into Arabic as here. Why? It's possible to find native language equivalents for all tar target language words. Seven students learn that English TY correspond to dad, tad, why? Learning is facilitated through what? Through attention to similarities between the target language and the native language. Eight students are given a grammar rule for the use of a direct object with two word verbs. Why? It's important for a student to learn about the grammar or form of the target what? Language. Nine students apply a rule to examples they are given. Why? Deductive application of an explicit grammar rule is a useful pedagogical what technique. Nine students apply a rule to examples they are given. As I told you, eleven, ten students. Memorize vocabulary. Why or what is the reason behind that? Or what is the principle we can say? Language learning provides good mental exercise. Good mental, it means for the mind to memorize. The teacher asks students to state the grammar rule. What's the principle? Students should be conscious of the grammatical rules of what of the target language. Twelve students memorize the present tense, past tense, and past participle form of one set of re regular, regular verbs. What's the principle? Wherever possible, verb conjugation and other grammatical paradigms should be committed to what to memory. These are the principles. These are what the principles. Now we review the principles, but in other way, and by uh, question and answer. What are the goals of the teacher who use the grammar translation method? According to the teachers who use the grammar translation method, a fundamental purpose of learning language 
is what? To be able to read the literature written in the target language. This is the goal. Two, what is the role of the teacher? What is the role of the students? A role are very, roles are very traditional. The teacher is the authority in the classroom. The student do as she says, so they can learn what she knows. Number three, what are some characteristics of the teaching learning world process? Students are taught to translate from one language into what? Into another. Four, what is the nature of the student-teacher interaction? Also, what is the nature of the student-student interaction? Most of the interaction in the classroom from teacher to the students. There is a little student uh, annotation on the student-student what? Interaction. Five, how are feelings of the student dealt with? Here, there, there are no principles of the method which relate to this area. Six, how is the language viewed? How is the culture viewed? Literary language is considered what? Superior or spoken, and therefore, the language the student study. What about the culture? Culture is viewed as consisting of literature and what? Fine arts. <clears throat> Next, what the areas of what? Of language are emphasized. What language skills are what? They emphasize according what? According to that. And we will see what? We will see uh, meaning for what? For this technique, like what? Uh, like the uh, previous. So vocabulary and grammar and are what? Vocabulary and grammar are emphasized. Reading and writing are the primary skills that students work on. Next, what is the role of the student native language? And here, in our native language here is Arabic, according to this approach. By the way, we don't have, we don't have a true or false or good or bad method or curriculum or approach. But we don't have a suitable approach, a suitable method, a suitable what? A suitable curriculum. Previously, before a 2000 year, me and other in my age, or maybe some of you, studied English by what? By an audio lingual approach. After 2000 year, especially some of you, studied by what? By communicative language te teaching. So which one is true or false? Which one is good or bad? So we don't have, but we don't have a suitable an audio lingual approach was suitable for the previous time and for the situation and for the environment. And this time we deal with the communicative approach. Why? Because it is suitable for our time now and our circumstances and our situation. So put that in your mind, please. This is a general information for you. Con uh, related, of course, to this material. The meaning of the target language is made clearly by translating it into student native language. How is evaluation accomplished? L evaluation means a test, written test in which students are asked to translate from their native language into their target language or vice versa are often used. And last one, how does the teacher respond to the student's errors? Having the student get the correct answer is considered very important. Now we finished the principles of this approach. Now we go to the techniques. So what are these techniques and what is the meaning for each one? Start with the first one, 
translation of a literary passage. What is the meaning of this technique? It means a student translate the a reading passage from the target language into their native language. And next, reading comprehension questions. What is this? It means a student answer a question in the target language based on their understanding of the reading what passage. And next, antonyms and synonyms. Students are given one set of words and asked to find antonyms in the reading, also synonyms. In Arabic, we call it opposite to similar meaning. In cognate student, are taught to recognize cognates by learning the spelling or sound patterns that corresponding between what languages. And detective application rules. What is this? It means a grammar rules are presented with examples. Memorization, what is the meaning of this? Students are given list of target language vocabulary words and their native language equivalents and are asked to memorize what them. Next, use words and sentences. In order to show the students understand meaning and use of the new vocabulary item, they make up sentences in which they use the new word, new words. The last one, the composition. The teacher gives the student a topic to write the target language. Like us, we, we give you a topic and ask you to write a composition. Now I have finished uh, this lecture. Is it clear for you? Is the lecture clear? Yes, yes Dr. Clear. So do you have any question about this lecture? Do you have any question? Sorry, Doctor. Uh, yes. Are there the definitions? Use words. In yes, we can. We can say. Example. Yes. What? Which one? Yeah, I mean, uh, in English, English. Uh, yes, memorization. Composition. Yes. Are they uh, definitions? These are what techniques? Techniques. So how can you see the techniques? And okay, in each okay. approach, we use the techniques. So in, in, each, in each approach or, 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 or method, we will discuss the techniques and the principles and the experience and the introduction. But as you know, not the same. Each method or approach has its own characteristics and features, OK? okay. So you can say these are definitions or a statement or explanation, the same. The important thing here is to understand each one. Thank you. Yes, welcome.